Hello everybody and welcome back to MechWarrior 4 Mercenaries where we need to defend the Transpax Coastal Facility yet again. What do you have to say about it, Castle? Looks like the hornet's nest is busted wide open. Admiral Carrington is calling for the complete destruction of the Transpax Coastal Facility Deneb. He's enlisted mercenary mech support from the remaining Black Cobras. My best estimate is that they will be ready to strike in the next two weeks. A month at the outside. Transpax has made it clear we are their first choice unit and are offering double pay for harbor defense. Are they though? I feel like they're not offering double pay. Because this is 50% increased. The first mission we were getting just over 2 million Z-Bills. So I feel like that's uh, not really a thing. Anyway, we are pretty much ready to do this, but let me just go through the information network info here. A group of naval vessels and a, a lance of mercenary mechs, okay, a lance, are mobilizing against the beleaguered Transpax coastal facility. The Black Cobra and naval commanders have made clear their intention to level the base. Transpax has begun prepping for evacuation, whether sufficient time remains is unclear. Transpax is contracting for base defense during evacuation. Okay, so we've got everybody outfitted in medium mechs. We've got a lance and a half here. Let's go. Lance has acknowledged order. Transpax has begun a full evacuation of the facility until this matter is resolved. A skeleton crew is manning Deneb control and has the Calliope grid patched up and functional. Deneb, this is Spectre. You on the comm? Uh, affirmative. This is Corporate Officer Second Class Smidlin. Lowest brass on the totem pole, eh? Don't worry, Smidlin. We aren't looking to lose this fight. Roger. I have the Calliope's online. Radar given mostly static. I have a good SATCOM link. I'll provide positional data for the operation where I can. Excellent. So, okay, Spectre Lance, give a ready report and keep one eye on your scanners. We're expecting combined naval and mech aggressors. This is Rufus. Ready app. Contact at 900 meters. Target destroyed. Oh, they have different recycle times. Okay. That's actually not a bad thing. Nav point alpha Target reached. Destroyed. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Excellent. Presumably onward to beta. Close up and form on me. At the Roger. Roger, lead. Roger. Roger, Spectre. Get up here, everybody. Because I have a feeling this is going to get messy. Enemy detected. There Enemy there. detected. Enemy detected. Enemy detected. Enemy detected. Enemy detected. Target destroyed. It's nice having some actual range. Target destroyed. Those three taken care of. I assume this is the infamous Spectre? This is Spectre. There's some reason you need an introduction? Dragonfly here. Just wanted to make sure I was swatting the right fly. I'm gonna make you pay for Lieutenant Dunman's land. You're welcome to try. Spectre out. All units be advised. Militia, heavy choppers moving in from the east. Castle, any chance of getting Harpy in here? Negative, Commander. Their dance card is full for now. I will update if situation changes. Looks like we're doing this without air support. Maintain good air watch. Take out the designated target. Roger, lead. Copy. Roger, lead. Roger. Roger. Roger, lead. Roger. Cobras lost their bite? Your reputation had me expecting more. This isn't over. Colonel Byrne has a lot of friends. You will pay. Target destroyed. Target eliminated. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Hold your fire. Roger, lead. Take out the designated target. Copy. That's a Roger. Copy. Roger, lead. to hold their fire? Oh my. Okay. The 
The carrier Harkness has launched two fighter wings. Nightshades inbound. Over. Roger, Castle. Still tangling with the Cobras. Target destroyed. Another one. Bite the dust. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Enemy detected. Enemy detected. Okay. Roger, Spectre. Enemy Copy. Detected. Roger. Enemy detected. Enemy it's nice that we've had to buy a piece, so that's for sure. Enemy detected. I can't believe I missed both of those. Target destroyed. Another one. Bite the dust. Target eliminated. Copy. Roger. Roger, Spectre. Okay, there's that nightshade gone. I missed both of those too. Enemy is history. Another one. Excellent. Bite the dust. Target eliminated. Now for their air cover. Assuming I can hit it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there is a mech left. Copy. Roger. Roger that. Roger that. I thought we killed all the mechs, but this is the still exists. Enemy is history. Another one. Fight the dust. Target destroyed. Again, this was easier than I remember. Target destroyed. I think it has something to do with the fact that I'm no longer 12. That's my That calm shows area clear of hostiles. Looks like we did it again, sir. Transpacks could have saved themselves a mint in evacuation fees if they'd had more faith in us. I'm sure they're plenty happy either way. Excellent work, Commander. Merknet is already buzzing with the news of taking down the Black Cobras. It seems someone leaked a battle ROM of the conflict. The Admiral has been relieved of command, and his replacement has negotiated a truce with Transpax. I think he's afraid we'd start mounting capture strikes. That clears up the missions here on Halloran. Consult your star system overview to plot our next move. Well, that's kind of perfect, right? Because this Chimera is damaged. That said, we did capture an Argus and an Uziel. So... Oh, hello. Battle lines are being drawn, huh? Okay. 19 February 3066. All across the Lyran Alliance and Federated Commonwealth, units are clashing over the struggle between Archon Princess Katrina Steiner Davian and her brother, Prince Victor Steiner Davian. Even before Victor's call to arms against Katrina, brutal fighting was commonplace on the streets of notable planets such as Solaris 7 and Kaethil. Now, with the campaign to unseat Katrina in full swing, once allied units have turned against each other as the conflict of brother versus sister is played out on countless battlefields across the inner sphere. Yeah, that's going to be a messy one. We're going to go ahead and repair the Chimera. We are not going to be jumping forward in time because we need to travel. So, we have this Argus. This is our first heavy mech. And the question is, what do we equip it with? The answer is we don't really have good equipment to put on it. Like, dual large lasers would be a good thing to put on here. Let's go ahead and max that armor and take off one point in the center torso. Wait, this is reflective? Verifibris, thank you very much. And we'll go ahead and drop a tiny amount of armor in the side torsos and each leg. There we go. Actually, we'll drop additional in the legs and put it back in the side torsos. There we go. That'll do. Can't have any components. Oof. That feels bad. Well, we don't want to advance time. Let's hop into the free market quick. They have an ER large laser here, as well as a regular large laser. They have a large pulse laser, which is an interesting option. If only they had a regular one of those. 
They have a regular LBX AC20, but no clan LBX AC20. And I don't think we can really make this work on the Argus. What's the tonnage? 15 tons? We could. We could make this work on the Argus. It's certainly an interesting option. We have 32 tons available. So an LBX AC20 with 40 rounds. I would like to have a Streak SRM6. So I'm going to save this, head into the free market again, and we're going to check for a Streak SRM6, as well as maybe some ER medium lasers, like four of them. So where's that Streak SRM6 at? Streak MRMs, those are nice, but uh, no, we're looking for this. Another million fee bills down the drain. Gotta love it. Okay, and then we're just going to run quad medium lasers, a couple of heat sinks to help deal with that, and then what do we want to do with this four, four extra tons? Well, we could bring an additional ton of Clan Streak 6 ammo, we could bring additional heat sinks, and I think that's going to be what we're going to do, and we're just going to run with this for now. So I'm going to save that. LBX AC20 in group 1. Group 3 for the Streak 6 is fine, but then group 2 for the ER medium lasers. Oh, what is the range on those? 400 meters. Okay. Good to know. We don't want to advance time. And actually, we're not done in here. We need to work with our other Uziel that we got, which is this one? No. Hang on. Let's get the... But let's get the uh, correct paint on here. Technically, we should probably be doing a more deserty paint now. That's a thing. So, like, I don't know, this? There we go. Because we're moving to a more deserty planet. And then Uziel 9 here is the one we already did. Uziel 13. Has jump jets, we'll ditch those and put on some lambs. We only have the one PPC available. So let's go ahead and max our armor here. Take one point off, I think, in the head. We'll put in a PPC. Something like that. And then say... A regular SRM6 pair of machine gun arrays. I, I kind of don't want to spend money on this. Um, we didn't have enough for the machine gun arrays, unfortunately. Enough tonnage. Or rather, enough machine gun arrays. <laughs> like I said, I don't want to spend money on this mech. We've been spending a lot of it. So we could just put on four more heat sinks, and I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. We're not advancing time, because we need to go to the Star System Overview and head to Eaton. Now we could do Solaris 7, but I want to wait to do that until we have some better equipment, because we're going to need some really top-notch equipment if we're going to actually win that. I remember how those matches go. <laughs> it's uh, exciting, to be sure. So we're certainly going to wait until after Eaton to do that. But I think we're going to wait until we have a solid mech in each weight class. So light, medium, heavy, heavy, and assault. We currently have a decent medium in the Uziel, and that's it. So we're going to need to wait, for sure. So let's go ahead and jump to Eaton, located in the volatile Isle of Sky region, which is caught up in the Sky Separatist movement. Regular military and militia units are in open conflict over the issue. The Sky Separatists are attempting to secede the entire Isle of Sky from the Lyran Alliance. The planetary government is Prosperatist, okay, and seeks mercenaries to augment his forces against Lyran loyalist holdouts. Prosper, oh, Pro-Separatist, 
Wow, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Pro separatist. Okay, we're jumping. But note this. Less heat sink efficiency. It's gonna take two weeks to get there, too. This might be loud, by the way. Headphone warning. Yeah, that's a little loud. Okay, we have... Oh, hello. Okay, we have some additional news. However, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we'll get through this news and get started on Eaton. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you all next time.